know, in the industrial internet of things, industry 4.0 and automation robotics, the key to making it work is connectivity, getting all the elements to talk to each other. I'm with Sebastian Schmidt, he's a robotics division manager with Stably Corporation. Sebastian, we're standing in front of a, of a sample cell that demonstrates how you can get these multiple automation technologies talking to each other. Tell me about it. Yeah, uh, Jim, uh, good afternoon. This is uh, really an example of uh, all the different technology that we have in Bring. The smart production shows all the different uh, products. Uh, it goes from the TS to SCARA range that we introduce here onto the North American market to the TX2 uh, and our Cobot uh, line of range and our mobility solution. So all of this comes together on, uh, on this uh, smart production connected to the smart data that gives you the reliable information through our cockpit. So all works together, you have the TS2 working with the TX2, the SCARA with the six axis, sending information to the cockpit, the mobility offering that is bringing parts to and from, from one cell to another. All this linked together to bring you smart data. Sebastian, uh Speed, repeatability, those are the two primary parameters that for many years people thought about robots. If you bought, you bought industrial automation system, that's what you thought of. But now you have multiple cells and the cells are no longer fixed. These things are moving, they're reconfigurable. Is this, is this make it more difficult and complex to even purchase or think of how to configure your assembly? No, um, the speed and precision is, is still an important factor, of course. You want your product to be high quality, high precision. But uh, the mobility factor, you bring equipment closer to a certain cell, but then you calibrate itself to make it accurate again, so it can work in that specific station. Cobots, of course, uh, the, uh, get rid of the gating, the fencing, win back some, some square footage, make a more flexible line at this point. Uh, are they slower? So, uh, Cobots, there is a little bit uh, of a thing with the Cobot, a trade between collaboration and productivity, obviously, but uh, when people are close to the machine, you interact with the machine, so you give, you give up a little bit of uh, productivity to be able to collaborate and to work slower, and then when you move away from it, uh, the robot can take back his ownership of his space and, and work at high throughput. Now you're demonstrating uh, AGVs with Cobots bolted on top, which is sort of, uh, of technology piled on top of technology. Do you expect an industrial application that these will move in and amongst human workers walking around on the shop floor? Of course, that's what uh, mobility is about and collaboration. Now it's, uh, you, gen you aggregate and generate a large amount of data in a highly connected system like this. Is managing, processing that data itself a burden? Is it a difficult thing to try and understand what's happening in your process? So. You're touching a very uh, deep subject here. Uh, we're making a lot of data, big data, we hear that. Here, the important thing is making smart data. So making smart data is taking those data together, putting it in the cockpit, in the KPIs that make sense for a production manager to be able to highlight the bottleneck of his production and improve it and drive the change. Smart automation is connected automation, says Sebastian Schmidt of Stably.